<laughs> Steven's here too. We're gonna be doing some fun stuff today. There's there's two really exciting things that we're doing for you guys. We're gonna be doing a, another live unboxing of a album uh, that we had made for Miller's, uh, which is really, really exciting. We did an unboxing of canvases and you guys loved it. It was so fun for me to, to do an unboxing with my daughter there of actual prints for my family. Um, and so today it's gonna be a wedding album. Um, and then apart from that as well, we are gonna be doing a live announcement uh, for everyone who uh, was able to uh, to drop a review, leave your thoughts on the Six Figure Photography podcast, and leave a comment in the uh, in the status. It's probably right below this or right above this uh, post if you're watching. Um, so we're gonna do a uh, the the drawing for that as well. What's up, two people? Uh, say hi, say hello if you're out there watching. Um, you guys, before we jump into that, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a quick little thought process here as we as we allow more people to come in. Um, cause I just have to kind of address a thought, uh, the first off the entire goal of this, by the way, if this is your first time joining and you're 61 episodes deep, um, six for your live is entirely, um, about, uh, me bringing you guys behind the scenes and what we're up to at Stouncer Creative. It's a Columbus-based uh, wedding photography studio and six-figure photography. Um, just in a really candid way. Uh, hey, Mike, not much, man. I'm just uh, just kicking it here. Thanks for joining. Um, to bring you guys behind the scenes, to help provide value, to help show you guys what we're up to, what we're doing, what we're thinking, to help you get inside my head a little bit and to see how things work. Um, that is, that's the goal. And so every single day, Monday through Friday, uh, we show up for you guys. So thanks for tuning in. Um, look, T today was a rough day. Today was a rough start, I should say. So I woke up around 6 a.m. this morning. It was, it was already a little bit late, which was annoying. Um, so I woke up late, and then I went to go. Uh, our car just died, and so we had to buy a new car. Long story short, I had to go take uh, this new used car. It's a 2007 car. Um, over to get some stuff fixed up on it, some stuff tuned up. And I go to, I go to hop in my car this morning, and the uh, lights were left on. I left the lights on. I should say, and the battery's dead. And so I'm up this, I'm up early. I can't even go do what I want to accomplish this morning. And I had so many things set up that was all uh, based around this. And so then I'm waiting. I'm like, man, maybe I can get it jumped, right? And so I look across the street at my neighbor. He's got a truck. His garage door is open. He's getting ready to leave for work. And I'm sitting out there waiting for him. And he's just like not showing up. And so I run inside for a quick minute to get my keys. And of course, during that time, he hopped in his car and took off left. And as I'm walking back out, He's gone, and I'm just like, son of a gun. And so anyhow, I just headed off to work, and I had a 30-minute commute. And the whole way here, I was just, like, really pissed off. And I just got to be honest. Like, it's just a real shitty start to the day. And it, it messes with you guys. Like, like I'm a generally optimistic, super positive dude, and it, it was just really throwing me off. And I think as solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, we're always having to kind of deal with our emotions and how they affect our business, how they affect our performance, um, and I had to, I had to take the time to like register the fact that, um, that I was just in a real shit mood and I had to do something about it. And I want to encourage you guys to do something about it. And something that I always do that I always tell myself, and I've talked about this in the past. Um, and by the way, what I'm about to tell you is not something that I would encourage you to tell other people. Uh, I have, I've done it a few times, uh, and it ends up coming across pretty insensitive because it is, but I, I had to tell myself, look, Ben, worst things have happened to better people. Worst things have happened to better people. Yes, I'm having a crummy morning. Yes, things aren't going my way. But you know what? Worst things have happened to better people. And when I tell myself that, it allows me to move forward. It allows me to say, you know what? Like, is what it is. Yeah, my morning got screwed up. Um, but I'm just going to keep moving forward because there's a lot better people out in the world. And this is, it's a reality. There's a lot better people out there in the world, right? And, um, and worse things have happened to them. My God, um, I'm so blessed and I'm so lucky. How dare I get pissed off uh, for, for such a trivial thing um, as to have my morning screwed up. And uh, I guess that's just something I, I had to say. Tell yourself that, you guys. Worse things have happened to better people. Um, and use that as a motivating thing. Use that as something to, to not let you stay in your junk and your filth and your, and your disappointment. Move forward, okay? Um, all right. On that note, what's up, everybody? Victoria's in the house. Lauren, Mike, Steven. Steven's right there. He's still just tuning in, though. You guys, thanks for joining. We're going to be doing a live unboxing, so I'm going to turn the camera over to Steven Lowe, and we're going to unbox this Miller's album, uh, which, by the way, you guys, I ordered this thing like two days ago, and it's here. I ordered a, a 80 page leather bound album two days ago and it's right here, here. That was my crotch. That is the album. It's right here. All right, Steven, uh, take it away, man. 
All right, let's turn this camera around. Okay, cool. We're at um, Ben Adams' house, and his wife is a hairdresser, and so I'm using this lovely, if you want to zoom in on these, these lovely leopard uh, print uh, hair scissors uh, to hey, unbox this. What are you this. talking about? Those are, our, those are our premium album scissors. Sure, but these are the premium better. album yeah. scissors. Um, okay, so uh, box arrived. It's an 11 pound. It says 11 pounds. It does not feel like 11 pounds. Um, I don't think it can be. Uh, okay, so we're opening this up. It is a, uh, I think I ordered a 10 by 10 um, album. Oh no, I think I did a 12 by 12. So this album is actually going to be a gift. This is not for a client. This is an album that we made uh, as a gift to one of our favorite vendors in town. This is a vendor that has blessed us continually. They've, uh, they've continued to um, direct couples to us and we wanted to give them a thank you by making an album of all of the weddings that we photographed that they've been a part of. We put together an album specifically for that vendor. We're gonna be dropping it off actually to them right after this. Okay, coming close, coming close. And let me know who's here. Let me know as people come in if they have Chad, comments. Chad, Victoria, comments. Stephen Lowe. Stephen, Stephen that's Lode. you. Yeah, that's me. Wait. As people have thoughts, let me know. Okay, so Chad says hashtag love millers. That's Yay. right. Okay, cool. So we're opening this up. Um, by the way, this is not a drop shipped album. This was an album sent to us as a studio. And so it is gonna have the invoice here. If we were to have drop shipped it, drop, drop shipped this, it, it would be removed. Um, okay, so let's open this thing. Oh, oh that is a thing of okay. beauty. Cool. Um, so to start, uh, we have bubble wrapping all around it. Um, so open this part up here. Oh, this is sweet. Okay, check this out, guys. So their standard, Miller's standard like packaging, it's coming inside of a linen case. Okay, check this out. Because this right here, this is uh, like extra money for a lot of other um, uh, companies, right? Like a lot of times you have to go like buy some extra box. Actually, I'm gonna throw a company under the bus right now. Uh, Kiss, you have to pay them an extra like $15 just to have their album show up in a crummy craft cardboard box. I just said it, I'm sorry, it is what it is. I think it's silly that you have to pay $15 to have the album that you're spending like 500 to a grand on show up in a cardboard box, shame on them. Um, so here we go. This though is coming in, uh, it looks like this is a linen wrapped uh, cardboard maybe, yeah, like a linen wrapped craft box. And so inside, check this out. This is sweet. Tips to maximize the beauty of your album or book. Store all albums and books in temperature controlled and humidity controlled environment to keep them oh so pretty. Use a soft cloth to remove fingerprints. Avoid solvents or water, which could cause damage. Carefully apply a simple leather conditioner to your genuine leather album cover to remove any scratches or scuffs that occur. I love that. I love that a client gets to see this when they open it up. It just It's like a value add to them. Now inside, it looks like the album is again wrapped uh, in, what do you call this stuff? It's like, a, it's not bubble wrap. Oh, yeah. Some sort of like a foam wrapping. Oh, this is going to be sweet. Um, okay, so we'll open this up here. Let me know if there's any comments or thoughts. So cool. Okay, so we did, um, I'll put this against the gray. We did a black genuine leather album. Uh, everything just looks so pristine. The binding on it. This is an 80-page album. It's a really great width. I get a little concerned uh, with doing an 80-page album when the pages end up getting crazy, crazy thick. And so I like that with Miller's, you can do a leather bound album without actually having to do those super thick pages because a lot of times our clients are doing 80 page, 100 page albums. And when you end up going with a company that in order to do leather, they have to be really thick pages, the book gets a little crazy. And so this is, um, it's a great, it's a great um, uh, width for it. Uh, anybody showing up? Anybody thoughts, comments? Chad, Chad. love Miller's. I love Miller's. Okay, cool. So let's open this thing here. Oh. Awesome. Brian and Kara Hartline. Um, so this was a wedding that we did at the Museum of Art. This is going to be the, their standard luster paper here. Uh, the the vendor that we're giving this to um, loves it. They're, they're a planner, and so they've done all these details. And so we filled the book with a lot of details. But then as well, um, I made sure to get a few portraits in there that I thought were just killer. Love all the details again that we did for the reception here. Ben Adams shot a lot of these. Ben uh, was a second shooter for me at this wedding. Dude, check out these invitations. This is Ink and Ivory. We actually just uh, shot Ink and Ivory in an email, um, but Ink and Ivory did these incredible um, translucent invitations. It was so sweet. But I love this. So the paper, it's, it's thin, but it's not like silly thin. Like it, it still has like a depth to it. 
which is really nice. Dude, I love this shot of him giving it away. The colors are amazing, incredibly rich. The size is perfect. And it's always something when you when you pour so much time and energy into the, the the craft, into actually taking the images and then editing them and going through that whole process to take the time to uh, or to know that when you're spending this much money and time on it, that the color is going to come out correct. It really is encouraging. Um, what I did when I ordered this album, I did not have them do any sort of further color correcting. You can choose that option. I was just, I knew that my color correction was, was on point, And so I just wanted them to do that. Nice. Some black and whites here. The blacks are super, super vibrant. This is something that I always look at. So color is one thing, right? Um, to go and take a look at a color page spread, but then to actually see how the blacks and the whites that contrast ends up looking is is incredibly nice. So now we're going to go on to Ethan and Missy's west wedding here at the Westin. Lovely, lovely wedding. I shot some of this on film. I did I did some hybrid shooting here. This is a little bit of a mix of a contact 645 with a 5D Mark III. So some of the shots here are actually film. This wedding was so beautiful. It's such a, this is what I love, you guys. Uh, it's so different from the last wedding. The last wedding was summer, vibrant colors. This was Christmas. This wedding was supposed to feel like Christmas, New Year's Eve, that type of like um, glow and warmth and and intimacy that comes along with it. Who shot that? Oh, that's, that's incredible. Great. That's an incredible cake shot. Um, the party going on. Beautiful. This is Johnny and Lindsay. This is at the Hilton downtown. Beautiful. I'm just going to kind of start to move there a little faster. Love Tara and Ryan. Perfect, perfect. Brett and Casey. Love these, you guys. They did a New Year's... They, their wedding also was a New Year's Eve wedding, and so everything is like these golds, blacks. Love all the clock. Adam and Emily's wedding here. This was an, a lovely wedding. Her wedding theme, check this out, you guys. Um, what, like her colors, you know, everyone has like wedding colors. Her wedding colors were transparent. Isn't this sweet? Like it was blush and transparent. And so um, you'll see like the decor, once I get to the decor section here, um, uh, like a lot of the stuff uh, for decorations was, um, let's see, here's one, was transparent. Like, so all the, the chairs, uh, were transparent with like the monogram on it. The plate here was actually like a glass uh, plate, and the way that the sun came through and actually ended up reflect or like catching the shadows of just the the texture. All the glasses with that peach and like even these um, what's that called? Not a candelabra, but like the mount for floral were all, were all transparent. It's really really lovely. The tent as well. Check this out. Um, let me go and show you this this tent itself. The entire tenting was a transparent tent, which is just really cool. Anyhow, sweet. That's it. Awesome, you guys. Love this. Incredible album. Um, dude, if you guys want those albums, Miller's Miller's is just like showering us with love. We love Miller's, they love us, uh, they love you guys, they want you to have more of their stuff. So they're actually giving you guys 25% off. It's just sweet. So uh, use the coupon code SFP25 and you're going to get 25% off an album, which is like a lot of money. <laughs> like I'm actually really surprised at the fact that they did 25 freaking percent off. Um, that's a lot. It's huge. It's only good until the end of October though. So like get on that. Um, so anyhow, you guys, super, super cool. We're going to go drop this off um, pretty much right now. But before we do that, we're going to be drawing the winner of the $25 uh, Amazon gift card, the virtual money to put towards that new Sigma 85 1.4 um, or your next audiobook or whatever it may be. So um, here's what I need. Uh, pull up Random Integer, uh, maybe website, Random Integer. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna do a random number uh, uh, on the page. So uh, let me take a look at this here. Awesome. Hey, you guys, we're back. Well, I'm back holding it. It feels like we're back. Can you pull up, um, hey, Stephen, pull up on your phone six-figure photography. We're going to see how many um, entries were done. There wasn't very many entries, people, which is great for the people who entered. Uh, so um, here's the way we're going to do it. Uh, in the order that they're on there, I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, and then I'm going to do a random integer uh, uh, from that. And, um, and that'll tell us who won. 
So how many are there, for starters? Um, what are you doing? Go to the Facebook page. Oh, that's these guys. Like, these oh, guys. Like, these guys. I tell you what, man. Um, did you get a random integer at, Ben? Yeah. Okay, cool. One to, we're gonna okay, so we're going to figure out how many people entered here. Come on, man. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, keep going. Come on. Yeah, I'll, I got I'll this. I got this. I got <laughs> this. Okay, cool. So... Looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've got eleven of you who entered. Okay? So at the very top, Thomas, let's see here. You are gonna be number one. All right. So Thomas is number one. Let me see here. Show up. Okay, there you go. Thomas is number one. Abby Paul's number two. Irina, Stacy, et cetera, going down. So here we go. Uh, from one through eleven. Yep. Hold on one second. We're going to uh, uh, round. Okay, oh, number hey, one hey. through eleven. Press enter. There it is. Number two. two. That's so Paul. the winner, I believe, is number two, Abby Paul. Abby, you want our gift card, girl? Super excited for you. I'm going to shoot you an email, Abby. Um, we'll get that off to you ASAP. Thank you so much, everyone, for for participating. Actually, just. Dude, uh, thank you just for uh, for listening to the podcast. More than anything, you guys, thank you for showing up and listening. Uh, I've, I've, I hope it's been valuable for you guys. We just um, made another episode go live. Uh, was it yesterday, two days ago? Um, Ian Weldon, I recorded two episodes for you guys uh, as well yesterday. So thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate you going on iTunes and leaving leaving a review. Those reviews, I mean, I want more people to see this. I want more people to hear. I want more businesses to get better and better. And so um, when you leave those reviews, it, it, it means the world to me. It helps me know, whoa, there's a cat. <laughs> You've got a cat? Oh, I got a cat. Holy shit. <laughs> Ben's got a cat. Um, it means the world to me uh, that, that you guys are listening and that you'd leave a review. So um, in the meantime, I'm heading out to Canada Photo Convention on Monday uh, and uh, just doing the, the finalized little tweaks uh, to my presentation. I, I super cannot wait. You guys, if you can't make it to Canada, they have 20 spots for a live broadcast of, of the entire uh, convention right? Um, and so I'm going to put a link down there for you guys. And it's, it's affordable. Um, and I think it's gonna be really powerful. Uh, and you could, you could check in um, and watch right from the comfort of your own home. That felt like an infomercial. Um, whatever, you guys, if you want to do that, I would love it. Um, and if you're going to be at Canada Photo Convention, come say hi to me. Come like tap me on the shoulder. Give me a high five. Um, whatever, like come say hi, let's go get a coffee, let's get some lunch, like let's talk, I wanna actually meet you guys. This is what I love about uh, Six Figure Live is I get in some small sense an opportunity to actually connect and to, to see and meet you guys, even if it's just this way. So um, thank you so much. Uh, we're gonna go drop off an album. So um, off to that. Thanks everyone, cheers.